parents often ask about restraint collapse. My kid comes home and they lose it. They held it together all day for their teachers. They were perfect. They got model attendance and blah, 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 blah. They come home and they lose it. They're throwing the remote. They're having a fit. They're really hard to manage. They're telling me they hate me, all those sorts of things. Uh, it doesn't help all that much to just tell parents that you're their safe person. And so that's why they throw the remote at you and tell you that they hate you. That is true, but there is a biological basis behind what you're seeing here in your child's prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is the area of the brain that's involved in focus, self-control, attention, planning. Throughout the day, they're focused, they're maintaining self-control, they're doing what they're supposed to do, they're holding it all together, that is burning through their actual neurotransmitters, their dopamine and their norepinephrine. Their cortisol level starts to rise, their oxytocin level, which these are like the calming hormone sort of things, serotonin drop. By the end of the day, they are at a biological basis, not able to hold it together anymore. And so yes, you're their safe person, but also from a biology standpoint, this is written in the cards for them after a long day. And so what you wanna do is support them with science-based strategies rather than just saying that I'm their safe person and letting them smack you in the face and those sorts of things. What you're gonna do first and foremost is make sure that they have their blood sugar controlled because the cortisol makes their blood sugar go all over the place. So a protein rich snack, helps and making sure that they're hydrated because dehydration and blood sugar out of whack amplifies the dysregulation and the meltdowns. Second is you wanna make sure that they move their body. This helps burn off all that excess cortisol. It gets those wiggles out and makes them feel connected. It helps with their sensory system trampoline, running on the playground, pushing some heavy work, like doing some, pushing the laundry basket around the floor, anything that gets them up and moving and stretching their muscles and burning through um, helps. Two other things, instead of trying to connect by like quizzing them another day or talking about their day, like they've just been through their day, they don't really wanna talk about it at this moment. Physical closeness, like big hugs or cuddles can certainly help. Doing something together, whether it be playing a game, making a snack, doing a puzzle, moving, walking, holding hands, something along those lines helps. And then the last thing that will help is rituals. This is what we do when we get home. This is what it looks like because rituals lead to regulation through knowing what to expect and not having to deal with the uncertainty. So if that helps, if you're feeling that right now, know that it's not just you because you're their safe person. It's the biology that's written in them that they are going to have this collapse at the end of the day. And there are things that you can do to make it easier on yourself and it will get better with time, I promise.